cow! Holy cow! Holy cow! Oh my god! <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Odin Wolf, and welcome to LSPDFR. That is right, this is the Los Santos Police Department first response mod for Grand Theft Auto V. So, uh, jumping up to the new mod here, we messed around a little bit on LCPDFR back in the good old GTA 4 days, but really, really excited to have this mod uh, playable. This is something I've been looking forward to for a long time now. Uh, it is by no means a finished product. It's still early in development and uh, missing some, uh, some features, but they've also added some new features that we didn't have uh, in the mod itself. So, uh, there's probably going to be some hilarious moments in this video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, uh, let's jump right in. All right, so we're just going to start off doing a little bit of patrol out here in Blaine County, the Sandy Shores area, working for the Sheriff's Department. Uh, I really enjoy working out in this area a lot more so than the city. Just to me, it's a little bit more relatable to the area in which I live. Uh, of course, not in the desert, but uh, just out in the, the countryside with a, a lot of rednecks, if that makes any sense. So I get a lot more enjoyment out of this sometimes. Uh, we got a stray cat over here. Nothing to worry about. Uh, we're just going to drive around here. I have a few extra callout mods added in uh, alongside the default callouts, so uh, you'll see a few of those pop up every now and then. Uh, but we'll see uh, see what comes on. Attention, all units. We have a possible 390 in Roger that. Run away. One Adam respond 12. Code two. Ten four. Respond code two. So, just getting a report of an intoxicated person down here. This is actually one of the uh, the bonus add-on callouts that I, I've installed. So. Looks like it's going to be down here on the right. So this is a code 2 call. We'll just run up here uh, silent for right now and see what's going on. Looks like it may be over here in this one of these trailers. It looks like it's going to be right outside this trailer here on the left. Okay, I think it's this guy in the street here. He's got something in his hand. Maybe, yeah, he's talking on the cell phone. So these uh, people on the left here must have called him in. We'll just, uh, oh, he's going to charge us. So let's go ahead and get our taser out. And he's got a knife. So I'm going to call for a couple extra units here. Definitely need to get some backup here. All right, so he's got his hands up. Let's see if we can get him to drop it. What in the world? Um, well, didn't mean to do that. Luckily, he wasn't standing close enough that he got slapped. <laughs> And he did his drop it, and he's going to surrender for us. And here's our backup. So that worked out well. So we'll just go ahead and put him under arrest here for uh, attempted assault on an officer with a deadly weapon. And we will go ahead and escort him back to the station ourselves since we're just a few blocks away. Um, in the most recent update, they have added the uh, the feature where they'll actually send a uh, an extra unit to pick up the uh, suspects if you leave them in the road. Uh, there we go. I was beginning to wonder. So we have him in custody now, and uh, we'll just drive him around here to the station, which I believe is just going to be. Oops, excuse me. Should just be right here at the end of this road. So that was fairly close. All right, so we'll just pull up here. Oh, I may have, yep, I went past it. I mean, get straightened up here. Got to get in the right zone. There we go. All right, here comes the uh, the guard here. See if he gets the, the boot. Uh, no, he went easy on him. All right, well, so we'll be clear off that call. That was fairly easy. Uh, we'll see what else uh, we can get into. Not sure what this lady on the left's doing here. Uh, it looks like, yep, I think we've got an open container over here on the right. These two guys uh, having a good time out here, drinking in public. So definitely going to have to put a stop to this. Let's see if we can get some information out of these two guys. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I need to see some ID here for that open container. I don't know which one I got. I guess I got the one on the right here. That's not the one that had the container, but Mr. Danny Jackson, if you'll... Uh, Sit right here. I shall be right back with you. I'm just going to run your records. I'm going to go over this way so they don't uh, catch any of this. So we'll just look them up real quick. Danny Jackson. 
And the keyboard is actually not blocked out at this point, and you'll notice this guy's coming over here because I accidentally hit the breathalyzer button. So, And he's definitely drunk. He's over the legal limit, as you can see there. It's in red. Uh, Danny doesn't have any warrants, and his license is valid, so he's all right to go. But this guy, um, he's definitely getting busted for open container and being uh, drunk in public. But we do need to get his ID here. So Jake Jansen. Uh, I'll have to run that just to make sure there's no other warrants or anything out. But yeah, the keyboard is actually not blocked out at this point, unfortunately, and you'll end up Citizens you'll end up hitting a bunch of buttons that you don't want to hit. In, so, uh, Sandy Jake Shore. Jansen, and he's clean, no warrants, uh, license is valid. But like I said, he is going to have to be taken into custody for being drunk in public in uh, open container. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's see, we'll pull out the stun gun here, and he's going to attack us, so he's assaulted an officer now, he's, oh, look at, oh, he never went down, and the other guy's taken off, but he's clean, and unfortunately, it looks like, this is a glitch that has just come in recently with the last update, the taser seems to be glitching these people out for some reason, as you can see, I can't do anything to him. Um, I can't arrest him, I can't do anything, so what we'll have to do here is uh, basically just call this one code 4, we got him in custody, and that's that, so unfortunate, but that's one of the glitches in the, the mod right this time, so we'll be clear off this one. Let's see, is he going to stop? Nope, just going to go right on through. May have been a female. So uh, we'll definitely have to stop this truck for rolling through the intersection there. Let's go ahead and blip them and turn the lights on here. See what's going on with this uh, this individual. I didn't get a good look at him as he went by. I thought I saw long hair. So, but now that I'm getting closer, I think this is actually yeah, it's gonna be a oh wow, it is. It's an older man. <laughs> All right, so, uh, sir, I'm stopping you for running the red, the uh, stop sign back there. I'm going to need to see your ID, proof of insurance, and some registration, please. Thank you very much. Mr. Con Concher Sutherland. Con Concur? Concher? All right, Mr. Sutherland, I'll be back with you. So we're just going to look him up here on the uh, police computer. Hope I'm spelling this correctly. All right, looks like it is. Oh, license is suspended. So that's usually officer's discretion whether you take them in or just give them a fine. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take him into custody for that. Uh, and he'll be fined or uh, given a citation for running the stop sign as well. So uh, we'll run the plate on this vehicle just to verify that it does, be, uh, that does belong to him and it's not stolen. So we've got 43 Sam Indigo Mike 464. I know that's not proper police verbiage, but I'm not a professional. So it is registered to Mr. Sutherland, so that checks out. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and take him in for driving on a suspended license. Um, shouldn't be too big of a deal. They'll just. Uh, book him and get him sorted away he'll have to pay the fine and all that oh please don't run please don't run sit down for me please thank you mr sutherland oh my god look at his eyes he is terrified <laughs> i can't blame him he does have a gun pointed at his head so i would prefer to use the stun gun but as you saw earlier it's uh it's pretty much broke right this at this point so all right come with me sir i need you to stand up we're going to go about uh, 100 yards down the road here to the uh, station. Oh. All right, don't mind me, Mr. Motorcycle Man. All right, go ahead and have a seat in the back of the car here. You're under arrest for driving on suspended license. Thank you. Oh, very, very uh, graceful there. And I don't know why my driver's side door is not shutting all the way, but whatever. So we'll just make this long journey here to the uh, sheriff station hope we got enough gas to make it and our left blinker zone there we go turn that off all right so we'll just turn in here and uh, they'll get you taken care of here sir 
Next time, let's uh, not take the truck out for a spin while your uh, license is suspended. Oh, and he got the boot. All right. Oh, Lord. Did you see that? Was that a golf cart that just went flying by down there? Let's go check this out. There we go. They got the door to close. Uh, yes, it is. This guy's flying on this golf cart with no turn signals, no uh, protective helmet gear, anything like that. Uh, I'm going to have to stop him for sure. Go ahead and pull it over for me, sir. Thank you. Uh, and then there's a mugging up there, but this is obviously more important here. I mean, a golf cart driving that fast. I mean, come on. You got to stop them, right? And oh my God. Did I not just stop you? What the heck is going on here? You must be his twin brother. All right. I need to see some ID, please, sir. If this pops up the same name... Oh, okay. Ethan Jake. You must not be related. You just got that kind of a face, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, Ethan Jake. I'm going to run him. Uh, make sure there's no issues with him as well. Oh, wanted by LSPD. So, he's definitely going to jail. Got a warrant for his arrest. So we probably need to call for a couple of extra units here. Um, let's see. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, we'll go ahead and call code two, a couple of backups. And it canceled the traffic stop. See, that's what I mean, it's not, they've got to fix that where it blocks the uh, inputs. So we'll have to pull him back over here. Come on. Now he's, oh my gosh, now he's running. Okay, we've got a, <laughs> we've got a high speed pursuit with a golf cart here. This could get bad. Look at him go. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is the first time I've ever had this happen. Now let's get a couple extra units down here on a pursuit call. Here we go. Block him off. Oh, heavy contact. Oh my God. <laughs> we got guns drawn. Get off the, get off the golf cart, sir. Come on. He's getting off. Freeze. Hands up, buddy. There we go. Oh! Why did you tase him? He surrendered. Come on now. Alright, well, I'm going to let this officer go ahead and handle the arrest. I'll just provide backup. Yeah, I'm sure Jimmy is. Alright, so he's arrested. And oh no, this cop's freaking out. I had the gun pointed at him. Sorry about that. Now that lady officer just dipped out in the cop car. And this guy's running down the road. Alright. Well, here comes the uh, the backup unit to pick this guy up. But uh, we need to get this golf cart towed out of the middle of the road. So I'm going to hop in my uh, car here and pull on over out of the way. And there he goes. He will be taken into custody. Well, that was crazy. All right, so let's uh, first thing I want to do. I want to see if the uh, the trunk mod actually works on the golf cart. So we'll hit that, and okay, I'm gonna check the air, but yes, it does appear to be working. And we found nothing of interest. So uh, all that's left will be to call a tow truck and have this thing removed. Whoa, where'd that car? <gasps> that car just turned into the tow truck. I know you guys saw that, right? Wow. Okay. Well, this ought to be interesting. Look at it. I'm sure glad we brought that massive tow truck for that golf cart. We would have never got it out of here if it hadn't been for that. Oh, wow. All right, well, that's LSPDFR for you. We'll be uh, cleared off of that one. See what else we can get into tonight. Citizens report gang-related violence in the Alamo Sea. All right, so this is going to be a uh, pretty nasty call here. This is gang-related violence, which basically means team deathmatch. Uh, looks like we've got multiple suspects up here on the uh, the shoreline. So I'm going to roll up silent here, just try to scope it out and see what we're dealing with before I call this before. Okay, here's one guy walking down the side of the beach there, and looks like another one over in the bushes to the left. So I'm going to back out of the way and go ahead and call in some major backup before I take these guys on. So I'll get several local units and some local SWATs down here. 
And uh, we'll move on up here and see if we can get in position for this. So let's see if they open fire here. Yep, there you go. All right. Shots fired. We got to move over here and take cover behind the door of the car. We've got units on scene already taking shots. And if we get in the trunk here, we can actually pull out an AR. So hopefully we don't get shot in the process. Oh, get in cover. All right, let's move over this way. No, 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 no. I don't want to go back in the trunk. Oh, man. Come on. All right. Let's get back over this way. Looks like there's a guy trying to flank over here on the left. I'm going to try to sneak around here and cut him off. Looks like he may be on the other side of this fence, maybe. Don't see nothing. All right, he's going to be right here. There he is. And we got him. All right, who's next? Actually, it looks like we're clear. Wow, nice job, guys. What is this guy doing? Look! <gasps> Grand Theft Auto by a cop. He just stole this poor lady's beetle. And he left his partner. What in the world? Well, you know, there's always at least one crooked cop in every town. So we got it on film. There you go. Oh, man. So let's uh, we'll go ahead and call the coroners down here to clean up this mess. Take care of these bodies for us. Let's see where it spawns the corner. All right. Right over here. So they should be... Uh... Oh, shots fired again. Where's that? Please tell me they're not... Yeah, it's coming from over here. They're... Oh, no. Are they shooting the corner? Please tell me they're not. Guys, what are y'all doing? What are y'all shooting at? What in the world? What are y'all shooting at? Um, yeah, they're, they're shooting the corner, and it just cra it crashed police radio. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. Guys, come on. <sighs> well, once again, in this good old GTA AI, uh, I don't think that's one you can see every day. The AI crashing a plug-in. So, yeah, these guys are actually just going to be stuck sitting in the van. Thanks for showing up on scene. Um, sorry I had to go down like that, but anyway, I'm going to pause the video, reload the scripts, and hopefully uh, get this cleaned up. So uh, we'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that. Attention all units. Citizens report a 390 in Grande Sonora Desert. 1 out of 12. 10-4. Respond code 2. All right, so we're loaded back in. I uh, swapped out the... Uh, the old police cruiser for the uh, sheriff's SUV here. So we're just going to take this uh, code 2 call for an intoxicated person. And it looks like they're going to be over here in the uh, off the side of the road here in this loop around. So just clear the intersection here, make sure nobody's coming. And here they are right here. And he's definitely staggering around doing something. So uh, we're just going to block this, uh, this street off here, make sure nobody comes down this way. Sounds like he's on his cell phone, so we're going to have to see if we can uh, get his attention here. Sir, excuse me, I need you to stop, please. I need to ask you a few questions. There we go. Oh, come on now. There we go. All right. You got any ID on you, sir? Thank you very much, Mr. Green, Mark Green. Uh, I'll be back with you in just a minute. So I'm actually going to jump in the uh, the truck here so we don't activate any of the uh, other plugins while we're doing this. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, run his ID. Let's see what's going on here. Mark Green. License is valid and he's got no warrants. So license is clean. Uh, we definitely need to breathalyze him as he appears to be under the influence of something. Although I do notice that his birth date is uh, 1997, so uh, if he's been drinking, he's definitely underage, that's for sure. So Jesus. let's uh, breathalyze him. Well, he does have alcohol in his blood, although he's not over the drinking limit, but he is God drinking man. under the age, so uh, we're going to have to take him in for that, unfortunately. Um... Let's see, what's the best way to do this? I guess we'll just have to use the uh, the pistol again, unfortunately. Oh, and he's he's stabbing us. He's got a knife. Freeze, buddy. Drop it. 
my Come on now. Target. Thank you. Thank you. Drop the knife. Drop it. Thank you. And we'll just pick that up. You're under arrest, sir, for uh, assaulting an officer with a deadly weapon now. You just uh, pretty much ruined your whole life. That would have been a, a much, much lesser issue if you would have just uh, cooperated. And uh, you would have been charged with drinking under the age, which would have been nothing compared to what you just did there, assaulting us with a knife. So uh, I need you to come with me and get in the back of this uh, SUV, please. And he's just going to stand there. So we'll have to jump in, and uh, he should warp into the back of the truck here. Maybe. Yep, there you go. Okay. So we're uh, code four off of this one. Uh, this guy's going to jail, which I'm assuming he'll probably be transferred over to prison here in a minute once they uh, deal with him. So we'll uh, go ahead and transport him over here. All right, here we are, sir. We'll just pull up in here and let's. Uh, I'm, ho I'm hoping he does get the boot. He he needs it. Come on now. Get it on. Yeah, there you go. All right. So code four, clear off of that one. Uh, that turned uh, rather strange. So anyway. All right, guys. That's uh, going to wrap up this first episode of LSPDFR. I hope you did enjoy that. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more of LSPDFR in the future. And uh, we appreciate the support as always, guys. So thanks very much, and I will catch you next time. Yeah.